Hey, have you ever thought, man, I'd love to learn how to weld, just some basic things? Well, today we're going to show you how to do basic welding techniques to put two pieces of metal together. All right, to start off, we're going to need an angle grinder. This is going to have three different attachments. It's going to have the cutting wheel, it's going to have the grinding wheel, as well as a sanding wheel to clean up welds. We're also going to need two pairs of gloves. First pair of gloves will just be a basic leather gloves that we'll use while we're cutting and prepping. And then we'll have our welding gloves when we're welding. These are for welding because they have the longer wrists, so they protect your wrists from burning metal. All right, as far as welders go, this is what I got here. I got it on Amazon. It was about 300 bucks, and it came with all of the accessories up there except for the angle grinder. The link is down below in the description. Basically, it's got a few, few pieces of equipment. It's got the uh, actual gun, power plug, as well as a grounding clamp. We'll show you how to use that in a second. But basically, all you have to do is flip it on, and then we're going to adjust the wire feed. This will be how fast or how slow the feed as the wire comes through the nozzle at the end of the gun. We're going to start by leaving it on thin plate and we're going to set the wire speed to about three to start with. And I'm going to start by putting on my sanding wheel. We don't need the grinding wheel to fit this purpose. We're just going to be putting these two pieces of angle iron together and just showing you how they weld together. Okay, always remember safety first. Alright, we're going to start by fitting it here and making sure they go together. We're going to make a nice straight line. Then we're going to pull them apart and we're gonna start grinding them down. We're gonna make sure that when we grind it down, we get all the paint, bare metal, everything. Make sure it's nice and shiny once we're all done with both sides, just like that. It'll take a minute. Just be patient with it, get everything you can, because you want this to be a strong bond together. All right, now that we got those pieces cleaned up, it's time to clamp them together and then start welding. It's important to keep things clamped together because it'll keep them nice and tight as you start to weld them. It won't allow them to move around. It'll make a nice, better bond once they're all complete. So this is just a small little clamp. I got it at Lowe's. It's also down in the description below if you want one. They were uh, four or five bucks. Now that we got the pieces clean, we're gonna go ahead and clamp them together and make sure they're nice and tight. That way it creates a good bond between them. Uh, like you'll hear me say in a lot of these channels, preparation is the key for all of this stuff. The actual welding will only take about you know a few seconds on here, but cleaning it, prepping it, clamping it, takes a lot longer, but it helps everything turn a lot better. The other thing we didn't mention earlier that you'll definitely need for this, and it's also included in that bundle with the welder, is a welding helmet. This one, it just came with it, it automatically dims so you can see through it before you start welding, and then it automatically darkens as you start welding. You need to have one of these, because if you don't, the light is so bright that it can blind you. So we're gonna start with a gun. We wanna have a little bit of the wire sticking out. We don't want it too long, we want it a little bit, just so we can get right in there and weld. And as we go down the line here, it's the welding line we got, that we're going to weld together. You want to start at one spot and keep it relatively close to the tip of the gun and you're going to go back and forth kind of like a Z motion as you can see here. You're going to go nice and slow up and down up and down as we start going. Just be patient with it and move slowly. One more thing to note it may be helpful if you can brace your hand that does not have the gun on something for example this grounding clamp that will help your welds get be straighter. Right, so the last thing we're going to do is just clean up the weld. As you can see here, uh, the weld, it, it looks pretty. It's just junky because there's a lot of stuff on there. But what we'll do is we'll get our sanding wheel and clean that up and make it look nice. And then if you wanted to clean it, you can go ahead and do that. So the real reason you're going to grind this stuff down is not, I mean, it's a little bit for aesthetics, but it doesn't really, you know, matter that much. It's really just to make sure you don't have anything jutting out, anything that's going to catch on anything or uh, anything like that. But as you can see, Nice and solid now. Oh, and one other thing to note. Take this slow. So I am by no means an expert. I am just learning with you. But I used a pretty low wire setting. If you set it pretty high and that wire starts coming out, it's going to go everywhere. And it's going to look like junk and it's going to hold together like junk. So take your time. Be patient. Go slow. It's going to take some time, but the results will be worth it. So good luck on your next welding adventure. So be sure to hit the subscribe button below if you like this video. And the bell to make sure you're notified when our next one comes out. Speaking of, check out next week's video coming out next Tuesday on how to build brick garden boxes.